Good morning guys, today I'm troubleshooting and I'm trying to figure out how I can get these black lines out of when I'm trying to record the film. Basically we have a whole bunch of old film reels and we want to re-record them in 1080p and color correct them and do all this great stuff and we do it for Christmas gift. But every time I try to, there's these black horizontal lines that try to, or that are, I guess, they're succeeding in running down the film or the, the screen. So I can't use the footage because it's all screwy. I really don't know. I'm stuck. So if anybody in the comments knows, leave a comment and maybe you can help me out. Good morning. Welcome to day 100. As I'm drinking coffee from a Christmas pub. So for some reason, I don't know why, but when I record, I usually record in 30 frames per second. It's just a little bit smoother, and if you want to slow anything down, it really helps there. Now, maybe that's my problem. Because if, if I was filming at 30 frames per second, if my camera was filming at 30 frames per second, and my film was only filming at 24 frames per second, would that cause the horizontal lines? I know I'm talking to myself here, but I might actually try that. Or maybe if I had a lens with a bigger aperture. Because right now, that, that lens, look at how glorious that looks. But that lens only has an aperture of 3.5, like a maximum aperture of 3.5, which sucks. And it's not consistent, so that also sucks. But, uh, and it, it, I have to zoom in uh, to get the full, the full frame for the, for the shot, because I can't have it too close, because if I have it close enough without zooming in, it gets in the way of the projector. Because it's it's literally a projector. One second. Look. See. So it's literally an old school projector. And that projects onto that thing. And I have my tripod here. And it's kind of facing that way-ish. And I've got the camera zoomed in so that it, it captures the full frame of what what's being filmed so that film is actually being captured at 1080p and then i can like digitally color correct it and stuff like that but those black horizontal lines have been kind of screwing that up it only seems to be this reel that it that it was originally doing it on because we have all these other reels like like this one and like a thousand others like it um and it only seems to be that one that it's doing it on. So I'm wondering if that friggin' reel is capturing at something other, like something differently. I don't know if that's possible. I'm pretty sure it was to do with the camera, but you never know. Let me see what I can write for a riff. Cause I gotta write a riff anyway. So I might as well try now. Perfect. That was a joke. It's not perfect. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I changed my mind a lot. So wait a second. Isn't it supposed to snow in winter? Or like just be cold? Cause it's raining right now. I don't know why it's raining if it's winter and there's still no snow on the ground. Well, maybe it's supposed to be okay because it's, it's supposed to snow tomorrow, I think. That's what they're calling for anyway. I think it's only like two centimeters or something. It's not that big of a deal, but still. Guess what time it is again. It's time to go to work. Ba -da -ba um, I somehow don't think that's going to be a thing. Yeah, it's not great for driving today. It's all like wet everywhere and it's not great visibility because it's been raining all day. So there's a lot of water on the road. So that sucks. What would really suck is if we got a cold snap tonight and all this water turned to ice. That'd be lame. I'd use my winter tires then. That combined with the fact that it's supposed to snow tomorrow so it will get cold at some point. Uh, <laughs> sounds like it's gonna be an interesting couple of days. Better get the brine ready. Man, I'm so hungry right now. I'm going to get a Whopper. I've been hungry since I got here, pretty much. So, let's go get a Whopper! Because it's Whopper Wednesday. And it's also YouTube Week Wednesday. 
but I haven't completely 100% decided on who I'm going to choose for YouTube of the week, so I'm going to delay that, procrastinate until afterwards, until I've had more time to actually think about it and make a confirmed decision. Because this is day 100, this is going to be a pretty special YouTube of the week. This is going to be someone I really, really enjoy and really, really believe in. So we will see what this comes out to. Uh... Okay, it still works, good. So, uh, I just put my camera on this like little dashboard thing, because that's what I do with my camera when I'm not using it, and it completely fell, and that sucks, but it's okay, because it's not broken. Burr, it's cold in here. Uh, no frozen roads yet though, so I think we're gonna be in the clear for tonight. <laughs> it's time to go home. It's like 1.11 and it's time to go home because it was a long free night. Day 100 was a long day and a long night. Yay for near misses of accidents. <laughs> so I just had a deer run across the road in front of me and if I didn't slam on the brakes, I would have hit it. But then we would have had deer meat. Pros and cons. Guys, it's late, I know. It's like four o'clock and I really shouldn't be up this late because I gotta wake up tomorrow uh, and go to work again, but I wanted to point you out towards Patricia Brown or Patty B or New Seven Life, as her YouTube channel is strangely called. Uh, she makes awesome vlogs. She's really entertaining. She's really talented, actually. She was on CMT for Big in a, Big in a Small Town, um, which was awesome, which I didn't get to see, but I heard about it and she was awesome. Uh, I think. Anyways, you should go check her out in the description, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube in the thing. And that is my YouTube of the week. Very talented. I really enjoy her music, and she's cool. So I'm going to go to bed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow because it's like, literally, it says 4.08 a.m. Good night, guys.